I just wanted to do this video about the car community. I think I'm going to take a break from car meets for a while and just the car community in general. And I wanted to do this video about it. Guys, so those of you that don't know, I'm in my mid-30s. I got in the car community around about the same time most of you probably. And the, um, when, when Hondas were really big and all that. And, we really didn't have any, you know, super nice cars or whatever. And it seemed like a more close-knit community. Yeah, you had haters like you have anywhere. But it seems like clout chasing and among a bunch of other things are just really ruining the community. Now, I remember grow, uh, growing up when I got in the car community in the late uh, 2000s or early teens, and, you know, there's that one guy who has the cool car, you know, or whatever, the older guy in his mid-30s hanging out around with all these 18-year-olds, <laughs> 20-year-olds. But anyway, um, yeah, and, and we all looked up to that guy, and yeah, it was cool, but he didn't have a crazy car, and it might have been like a WRX or something like that. Oh, it's got a turbo or whatever, or it's got exhaust or something like that. Just something simple like that. But, you know, there was the forums, which were, you know, bad in their own right. But I don't think it's anywhere near the clout chasing and all that that social media is getting into. And you see all these just ridiculous builds that aren't anywhere close to being a daily driver. Now, I could drive this most days of the year. Uh, but a lot of these cars nowadays, I mean... Every car's got, seems like it's got a thousand horsepower, 1500 horsepower, slicks on the street, blah, 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 whatever, or 2JZ, you know, with 1500 horsepower, or a Civic with a laptop in it, you know, and it's just crazy, but one of the biggest th turnoffs to me in the car community right now, it used to, we used to legit, like, want our cars to be faster and like see who had the faster car the cleaner car whatever now it's just people you know making these 3,000 horsepower cars just to do burnouts and donuts or or bouncing off the rev limit and you know growing up it didn't really have that it was more like a, how your car performed and drove or even just looked um and there's nothing wrong with just having a show car, but, you know, a car looks good or a nice daily. But these are getting out of hand. I mean, you get out of the parking lot and everybody's scraping and, and all that. I'm not against low cars, but, I mean, come on. And you, it seems like you're painting an unrealistic expectation for the younger people in the car, gen, uh, car community, the younger generation. And I really wish I could articulate it better. But I'm really glad I got in when I when I did. And yeah, there was there was uh, the normal amount of negative people, whatever, toxic people. I hate that word, but you know, for lack of a better word. Sick of the, you know, them them making a, a lot of handful of people are making the car giving the car community a bad name there's 90% of people are great and then there's a 10% that bounce off the rev limiter two-step all the time and do burnouts and think that that means your car is fast it's really odd to me and the people egging them on I don't get it and so they're shutting down the car meets and stuff like that and the cops are showing up having a presence I'd never seen that before uh, growing up not not since cars and coffee really started and that's been a really great community. But it, it just seems like a handful of people are really soiling our good name. And there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, doing a little roll race or whatever, or this or that. But, I mean, we got a 1,500 horsepower car or whatever, 2,000 horsepower on the street, man. Save that thing for the track. I mean, if you just got a regular Mustang or something, that's fine. Uh, but boy it, it's just everything's just really getting out of hand and I really kind of think I'm thinking about just going solo dolo 
for a while here so if you guys i know you guys like my shorts with all these cool cars but you know if i'm doing more solo bike trips or something like that or um get back on the road and start doing more trucking content you know just be understanding might be a little bit less car stuff because this is just getting ridiculous um yeah yeah just a handful of people ruining the car meets for everybody and 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 then the gossip and all that it, it's just really ruining the uh, whole experience and, and the community so yeah guys if, if you could just try to be more respectful period you know if, if someone needs help working on their car and that used to be the thing is like doing an engine swap day we had like five six people in the garage and now it just seems like either you're just taking it to a shop or or um or just slapping turbos you know and and just you know loosen it to a thousand horsepower on a stock block or whatever it, it's just getting out of hand in, in all aspects it really seems like and I hope the car community will bounce back, but man, I, I just don't like the police presence and, and I don't want to be associated with a group that's got a bad name.